Spencer. Mr. Spencer, I hate to bother you, but I thought you'd like to know there were two men here. Two men asking for you. A young man and a kind of older man. They were sorry you wasn't in. I said you wasn't. Did they say they'd be back? They didn't say exactly, but I think they will. Just now, when I had to go out the store, I seen them standing there at the corner. Maybe I should have let them in, only you said not to disturb you. And, yes. And I'm sure they'll be back. You look kind of tired to me, and that's a fact. You got a headache or something? I think maybe you need a real rest, that's what I think. Why, Mr. Spencer, you ought to leave all that money lying around like that. Oh, it makes me nervous to see money lying around. Everybody in the world ain't honest, you know. Though I must say, I haven't had much trouble that way. Those friends of yours told me not to mention they'd called. Wanted to surprise you. But I thought you'd like to know somehow. Yes, yes, of course. If they come back, you may show them in. Yes. You know, Mrs. Martin, it's very funny. They aren't exactly friends of mine. They've never seen me. That's odd, isn't it? It is odd, like you say. Now that I'm here, I'll have to meet them. I may even go out and meet them. Now again, I may not. Not yet.